Hi everybody, this is Bug S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Bomber Jacket Captain Marvel figure. So before we take a look at Captain Marvel, let's take a look at her accessories. So first up, she comes with the left arm of the Kree Sentry Builder figure, and I do have all the figures in this wave now, and I do have the uh, the Kree Sentry built here. So I'll be uh, I'll, I'll I'll be trying to get uh, the rest of the reviews out because there's a uh, Yon Rog and uh, Talos. That's the uh, last two figures I need to review from this way before I'll be reviewing the build figure. And she comes with a brand new Goose the Cat. And this one is just in kind of a, a standard pose. You know, like a, a normal cat pose, I should say. Like it's pawing at something on the ground. And this has some really nice sculpt and paint detail to it. I like how it has the orange in it. And it almost looks like it has like a wash of brown over it. It may just be the sculpting and the uh, the shadowing, but it almost looks that way. And he really doesn't have a lot of detail on his uh, on like the inside of his fur and on his face. They mainly just painted his back here. I feel like they should have at least painted his nose and painted a little bit of his arm a little bit more there. But overall, it looks pretty cool. Oh, to show him next to the previous one. This is him in chains. This is Prisoner Goose. And I think I like this one better. I just think it looks uh, it looks cooler because it definitely doesn't look like a normal house cat. This one does look like a normal one. Now, out of the package, uh, Captain Marvel has rubber bands around her hand that's holding Goose. But uh, she, she can't hold Goose. It's very loose. She It kind of just uh, balances in her hands. So you put her hand like that under its leg, and then you put the other hand right there by its ear. So you can see she is holding Goose. And like I said, it's really loose. It kind of you kind of just create a cradle for him to just lay in, because uh, there's no pegs or anything, so he he won't stay there. I, I I mean he will stay there, but if you move it around, he won't. So let's take. Goose out and set him right there. And now we'll take a look at the head sculpt of Captain Marvel. So uh, Hasbro, this is this is disappointing. This looks nothing like Brie Larson. This this looks like Amy Poehler. This does not look like Brie Larson. Like Hasbro did a really good job on the first Captain Marvel head sculpt, and then we get this one that looks nothing like her. So I'll show them side by side. Like, the skin tone is completely different. The hair length is even different. Like, it's a lot shorter. They were going for, like, windswept hair, but the hair should have been longer if that's what they were going for. Um, the hair is a completely different color. It's a lot darker. Um, the skin tone is a lot darker. Uh, this is a lighter skin tone. I don't know. It's just, uh, these, these look nothing alike. These don't look like the same actress. This looks like Amy Poehler. So, yeah, the head sculpt on this one is not great at all. I mean, everything came out pretty clean, but it looks nothing like Brie Larson. And as for the body, the body's completely the same as the previous Captain Marvel. As you can see. And I did already review this figure, the, uh, the first Captain Marvel, the one without the build figure piece. So, the legs and even the torso is the same. There's just less paint detail. Like when you open her uh, jacket up right there. Where was it? Oh, yeah. Uh, you don't get all of the uh, the gold lines painted on. It just stops right there. Which really doesn't bother me because, I mean, unless you have the jacket off, you're really not going to see it. But that's all the same. The only thing that's new is uh, the hands, the arms, and the jacket piece, of course. So looking at the jacket, it does look really nice. It's a very soft material, so it doesn't hinder the articulation. It's got a lot of wrinkles sculpted in there. And then the logo on the back here. I'm trying to get it without that uh, the glare on it. It's wings with a, a plane, I think. It looks really, really spotty. They used that, the, uh, the print tech for that. Uh, in front of the sun, I think. Like I said, the the print tech that, that they used to do this makes it look really spotty. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be wings in, in a plane. 
And like I said, she has the new hands here for uh, holding Goose, which you can also use as relaxed hands on uh, the normal Captain Marvel figure. Because she had just straight out pointing flying hands, and I didn't like that uh, she didn't come with like these kind of hands, with the relaxed hand. So you can switch that around if you want to. Um, I'll go ahead and just show one of the hands real quick. What looks like switched. There. So there's what it looks like switched. You can give her some uh, relaxed hands for just like a normal pose. So that's pretty cool. Because like I said, I didn't like those just normal flying hands where the the hands were just pointed straight out look stupid and you, you couldn't get her in a normal kind of pose with those hands but with these you can because these are actually relaxed hands so now let's go over the articulation she has a ball jointed head that can look back all the way her hair doesn't hinder that she can look down all the way she can move her head side to side she has ball jointed shoulders that can move out that far she has single jointed elbows Swivel side to side. She has swivel wrist that can move side to side and up and down. She has ball jointed diaphragm that can't move back that far, really can't move forward that far, and can move side to side. She has ball jointed hips that can just about do a split. She can kick forward all the way, and she really can't kick back. She has swivel at the thigh, double jointed knee, swivel at the ankle that can move up and down, and an ankle rocker. So the articulation, uh, I mean, her arms is, is the only thing that's different. So the articulation is pretty much the same. So now let's uh, get her posed here for some size comparisons. There. So there she is holding Goose the cat. And let's, uh, let's get Nick Fury holding Goose. I took him out of his hand for the uh, uh, comparison at the beginning of the video. So here she is, next to young Nick Fury from this wave, which is my favorite figure from this wave. He is just a really awesome figure. And I think the height difference is pretty good on, on these two. And here she is, next to normal Captain Marvel, the non-bomber jacket version. And she's just a little bit shorter. Not by much, but uh, this one is just a tad bit taller. Um, what I plan on doing is getting a second head uh, from this Captain Marvel. I'm, I'm not actually going to get another Captain Marvel. Just get a second head and switch it. Because, uh, oh, I need to do that. I need to uh, show what the heads look like switched. Which I did do this. So, switching this head out doesn't look good. It's, the head sits up way too far. But, switching the normal Captain Marvel head to this body... Looks really good. So that's why I plan on getting another one of these heads so I can switch them. Let's go ahead and switch these back now. So that that's what my plan is because this is a this is a horrible likeness. Okay, now let's get her stood back up here. Okay, and finally, for the final size comparison, here she is next to Ronan. Oh. Here she is next to Ronan the Accuser. Now he's he's the one figure that I forgot to uh, to show off in the size comparison of the plain Captain Marvel video. Um, I planned on doing that, but I forgot. I forgot I even had him. I forgot where I put him for this video. I had to search and search for him. So there was that. He did not want to stand up, and neither did she. So, overall, I do like the look of the figure. I, I like the bomber jacket. I think it looks cool. But the head sculpt on this figure is absolutely horrible. So if you have, uh, with the uh, new Star Force Captain Marvel, um, uh, Hasbro wants you to buy two so you can make a different figure out of it. And that means that you'll have an extra Carol head left over that you can use on this. So that that's kind of my plan is to either get an extra normal Carol head or get uh, two of those Star Force Captain Marvels. Uh, but honestly, you shouldn't have to do that, you know. So, overall, I'm not really going to say I'd recommend this figure because 
there's going to be four Captain Marvel movie figures coming out this year. There's the two in this wave. There's a Walmart binary exclusive. And then there's the uh, Target Star Force exclusive. And I really don't think this figure was needed. Because the only thing different is the Bomber Jack and then of course Goose the Cat. And this is probably one of my least favorite figures from the wave. Because it's basically just a re-release with something really slightly different. And that horrible head sculpt. So yeah, honestly, I'd recommend probably just picking the piece up because the normal Captain Marvel in this wave is good enough. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.